Good morning, everyone. I thought I would give you a quick run through of what's going down for heating and insulation in my van and is my brand new Olympian Wave 3 actually holding up? I may not be the right guy to take advice from for when it comes to like how to insulate, type of insulation, all that stuff, because I am far from an expert. I actually know about this stuff. I know nothing. But I do know one thing that you can get away with basic insulation, especially when you're starting off. You know, like I said in most videos, there's a point. If you got the cash, do what you want. If you're starting this, like most people, with a little bit of a short budget, then take it slow. Do the roof first and then start doing little pieces here and there. And you'll find what works for you if you're warm or if you're cold. You know, honestly, like, you're warm in bed. So what the hell more do you want? When you're sleeping in bed at night under the blankets, you are super snug, super warm. Your van might be icy cold, but you're warm in bed. You know, if you're expecting your insulation to hold your heat all night long, you're freaking dreaming. And if you think, oh no, it should hold heat at night, no, it's not going to. Tell you what, at home tonight, shut your heater off at home. Just shut it off. And you tell me if your house ain't cold as, you know what, first thing in the morning when you get up. Your van's going to be the same way, but just a little colder. Because no matter what you do to insulate this thing, it's going to leak it's gonna leak heat through all the seals. It's gonna leak heat through freaking the windows and every, there's so many places for this thing to lose heat. So to fully seal it out in my climate, yeah, it's not really worth it to me. The way it is now, I think it works and it's great and I'm gonna ride the winter out the way it is. If I don't get any insulation on it, then I'm not gonna do, sorry, if I don't get any condensation on it, I'm not doing anything else. This is it, this is it, this is it. So, and if I ever decide to panel it over, I'm just going to panel over what's there and be done with it. Insulation wise, guys, simple, works, and I'm telling you, if you're in my climate, we might reach maybe minus six with a wind chill. That's it, and you guys are golden. All right, let's talk about this heater. I got some good news for you about this heater. You guys are going to like the good news, but you're also going to like, I got some bad news about it too. So, all right, all right. We got ourselves the Olympian Wave 3 heater, which was on sale on Amazon in the US for like 150 bucks, smoking deal. They don't sell that heater in Canada. Weird, right? They sell the, the six or the eight, the bigger ones, but they don't sell the Wave 3. Weird, but Unless I just couldn't find it, but everything I read online saying that they're not available in Canada because of some, I don't know, code thing or some shit, I don't know, whatever it was. So long story short, mine was ordered from the US. It ended up coming out to with the hose and all that other stuff that I bought with it. The uh, dust cover and the legs came to about 380 bucks Canadian, 360 or something. So. You know, and those heaters are super expensive in Canada. I know the Wave 6 or 8 is like freaking like 600 bucks or something. It's pricey. You guys got it good in the US, let me tell you. Especially with gas prices too. Kind of kind of jealous. You guys are paying like half of what we are here. Okay. The Olympian Wave 3 produces a way different heat than the Mr. Buddy heater did. Like, I'm talking hugely different heat. The heat on, on, it's more like a comfortable fireplace heat. It is an incredibly nice feeling. The temperature is just beautiful and it's great. The build quality on it is freaking amazing. Like it's built like a tank. It's built like it's gonna last you a while. Or the Mr. Buddy heater on the other hand, had a lot of plastic pieces and you know. <sighs> What can I say that's awesome about this thing besides it's built well? The heat feels good. Once the van is up to a good temperature, 
That heater is one that you can leave on for an extended amount of time because it produces just a nicer heat. It's more like uh, more like a home, I guess, you know? Um, downfall. One major downfall is that, because I've owned the Mr. Buddy, and I had nothing bad to say about the Mr. Buddy. I think I busted that thing on my own because I mounted it to my door and it took a lot of like banging all the time, but anyway. The Mr. Buddy, when it was cold in the morning, you turn that Mr. Buddy heater on and your van was warm in like minutes. Problem with the Mr. Buddy is that they are really hot. Like you can't leave them on for very long. So when it comes to creating that comfortable feel in the van, like a home comfortable feel where your heater runs all the time and keeps you snug and warm, Mr. Buddy couldn't do that because it was just hot. You know, it was either, you know, you get too hot, you shut it off, and then you get too cold, you turn it back on, and it was just that all the time. But in the morning, when you want to get up, you kicked on the Mr. Buddy, and within like a minute, two minutes, that van was like toasty warm, and you could get up and start your day. I timed it this morning. This morning, the temperature outside was minus three degrees Celsius when I woke up. I set my timer on my phone. I turned on my Olympian Wave 3. 30 minutes. It took 30 minutes for that thing to get my van to a temperature enough that, you know, you could get out of bed and feel comfortable. It wasn't warm in the van, but you felt comfortable. And that's taken the van from a completely cold night, you know, and then turning the heater on and then having it heat the entire van. Where I just turned the heater on just now, but because we drove here and the van really wasn't icy cold, the heater is feeling excellent right now. So downfall is it takes forever to heat up, but when it does heat up, it is such a comfy, cozy, beautiful feeling. Oh, the Olympian Wave 3 is just like, ah. <laughs> it's super nice. I, uh, you know, I love the heater. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But I miss the Mr. Buddy for the reason that you could just kick on heat and it was hot. So honestly, guys, if you had a heat source that just heated the van up and the mist and uh, and the Olympian Wave Three maintained your temperature, perfect. Yeah. So I guess there's pluses and minuses to kind of everything, I guess. <laughs> so I don't know if if I'm missing anything. If there's something you guys want to know, blast it in the comments below. But I think it's about it. You know, I'm right now. I got my Olympian just sitting on the floor here, and yes. For all you blasting it, I use my dust cover every time it's not being used. <sighs> well, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? So if I miss anything, blast it in the comments below. Any questions, any whatever, just blast it down below. And um, yeah, do I recommend the Olympian Wave 3? You damn bet I do. Damn good heater, feels freaking amazing, feels freaking awesome. And um, all the links for that stuff are down in the description below. And just so you guys know, if you guys ever click any of my Amazon links and you guys purchase anything from, from that purchase, I get a little piece back from it from, from the affiliate program, which is pretty sweet because every little bit kind of helps me to driving to do this full time. So the only thing I think left that's not in this video is Disco. He's in the front seat. So instead of saying goodbye, let's roll a montage of our little walk here this morning. Because I still got to go get my morning coffee. I haven't got that yet. But ah, thanks for being here today, guys. And it's Christmas coming up. Woo Watch out for the Christmas Eve video, please. Everybody that's on my Patreon has already seen it. That's the plus side of it being on a Patreon, I guess. But everybody else, watch out. Christmas Eve is going to be a pretty badass, short little movie. You guys are just going to love it. It's just super freaking cool. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope you kind of learned something. If you didn't, well, too bad, so sad. <laughs> Adios, guys.